fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Friday the 22nd of November 2024. I hope you are keeping well. TG, TGIF and all that kind of stuff. Uh, if you are a person who enjoys your weekend, or well, the weekend isn't far away now. I'm waking up here in Thailand uh, to a lot of news. Uh, a lot of different things happened while I was sleeping. And... Um, the most probably the most important although i did actually see this just before i went to bed last night was that uh the international criminal court has uh demanded the arrest of netanyahu and i think that most people who were unbiased uh would agree that he ought to be arrested for war crimes but the problem is that it's so difficult to find anybody that's unbiased in this kind of situation. There's pro-Israel, anti-Israel, the the anti-Semitism, there's, 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 anti anti there's Islamophobia. It's there's global power. <laughs> it's all in there, and uh, it's a horrific situation in Gaza. It's getting worse all the time. I think it's clear the kind of war that's being waged is almost genocidal uh if not genocidal um and uh the icc has given a righteous decision for him to be charged of course he would have to be found guilty that's another point we're not saying that he is guilty but to be charged uh now of course that means that he should now be arrested if he travels to any country that's a sign up to the icc but of course none of this really matters because he has American protection. Like any Israeli leader, it doesn't matter whatever Israel wants to do. It seems to have carte blanche American protection to do whatever. And so uh, it's, I predict not much is going to happen about it, certainly in the near term future. Could something happen in the long term future? Yes. I mean, you remember all of those um, war criminals in Yugoslavia, who the old Yugoslavia when there was the war, Serbia, Bosnia, um, some of those were caught decades later and uh, charged. And so something might happen in the long-term future, but near term, I don't think it really matters. Anyway, the world is a naff place. And when I say naff, I mean absolutely hor hor horrific at times. But I can't use the actual descriptive word that I want to use if I want my YouTube channel to continue to be on YouTube. Um, anyway, shall we play Sudoku because we can't put all of the world's problems to right. All we can do is complain, talk to people, try to promote a fairer world, a reasonable world, and then live our lives in a way that will not give us uh, pain, too much pain uh, on a personal level. Um, don't sacrifice yourself. Here we go. I mean, if you if that doesn't quite that didn't quite ring out how I wanted it to come out. It didn't quite come out how I wanted it to come out. But do you know what I mean? Seven's blocking across here like this. Let's start with digit seven, shall we? Have I mentioned the game? No, I haven't. This is the Guardian's hard level puzzle for a Friday. Uh, th missing numbers down here. I think are two nine and something. Two six nine. Is that right? And we've got two and nine. Is it right? Two six nine. It is, isn't it? Two and nine together. So that's going to be a six. Found something. Here we are down here. Fives blocking across and a five down here.
And in this column here, I think we're missing two, five, and eight. And we've got five and eight together, so that is going to be a two. Ah, oh, now the two blocking this square. I can see that's going to give us <coughs> two in there. And what's the last number? Is it a nine? Guess. Hmm. Well, I can't seem to. See, I can't. I was going to say I can't seem to wake up. That's true. I can't seem to wake up. But also, um, can't seem to concentrate here. Really, too much news. Some of it not so terrible. For example, Matt Gates is out of the picture. But um, also, his replacement is probably going to be just as bad. So. Oh, let's go through bit by bit. I'm just, um, I can't seem to focus here properly this morning. Haven't woken up. That's the danger of playing Sudoku before waking up carefully. Oh, here we go. One block's across here, so one is in one of these two squares blocking across this way. And we've got a one down there, so we will say this is digit one. One going up here, up here, one across. Fortunately, it's only the Guardian. If it was the New York Times, it'd probably be much more difficult to get going. Okay, seven across here, put seven into one of these two squares blocking up here, seven blocking up here, seven across here. And there's a seven. Now I got something else in these two squares earlier on, so I'm gonna have to retrace my steps because I can't remember what it was. Was it five? Yes, it was five blocking up there. There we go. So five blocking this square and in this column now there's our five. Eight is the last digit for this column. Three blocks this square, so here's a three, and this will be four.
five across here, there. Four and six block this square here. That's going to put four and six into those squares and give me a seven there. Seven across here and across here says this is a seven. Seven up here and seven across there. Seven is our first finished number. No more sevens to be had. Uh, nine blocking across here and nine blocking down here. So nine is in one of these two squares blocking back and a nine down here. Two blocking across it and down here puts two into one of these two squares, blocking down, two down here, two across there. Nine blocks down here and across there for a nine in this square here. Nine up, nine down, nine in there, nine across there, there's a nine. 9 up here, 9 across there, there's a 9. That's the last digit, 9. Five blocks up here, that puts 5 into this square. The last number needed here is 2, I think. And 5 blocks across here and up here, so there's 5. That's the last 5. Okay, missing numbers in this column are 4, 6 and 8. We've got 6 and 8 together, so that would be our 4. 4, oops, 4 across here gives me 4 in this square. Um, 3, 2. Uh, eight blocks this square here, so in this column that's got to be our eight, and the last number to place here is a six. Still need a six down here, and this is four. Four up, four across there gives us four in that square, four across here, and four down puts four over here. Not much more to go now, there's this one empty square here. That is 
four again, I think. Here there's a single missing number, and that missing number is eight, I believe. Uh, four, five, seven, nine are done. Let's look at the other numbers, see if anything else comes up easily. Like the ones blocking across here gives me one here and one down here and across here. Finishes off the ones. Let's see what we're doing with digit two. Two across here and two down here. We'll place two into that square at least. Three we still need three blocks across here three is in one of these empty squares blocking across so that'll be our three uh six we still need give me a six uh six blocks across here that puts six into that square six back here put six into this square and six down here gives us six there six across here and six down here should be the last one yep uh, the last number to place here is a 2 by the looks of it. Uh, down here we still need one number. That's a 3, I think. Uh, 3 blocking up puts 3 into that square. Still need a 3 in this block down here. And 3 going up gives us 3 in that square. Missing number here, 2. 2 blocking down puts 2 in that square. The only number we need now is 8 in a few different places. There we go. Uh, that's our Guardian hard level puzzle for a Friday over and out. Uh, I'm, I'll try to get in at least one more game today, but I don't think I'll be playing lots and lots of games like I usually do because uh, I've got stuff to do today, I assume. Although you never know, I might get lucky or unlucky as it were and come back and play Sudoku with you. Not that I don't want to be playing Sudoku with you. I just prefer to be earning some money. <laughs> Take care. Bye bye.